Welcome everyone to another Photoshop editing tutorial. In this video we are going to apply some very strong autumn color tones. So we are going to turn this shot into this one. If you want to follow along, as always you can find the raw file in the description of the video and now let's jump into it. First off, of course you want to do the basic raw adjustments in the camera raw editor. As you have seen in the before and after, this shot will have a lot more contrast. Also, that means that everything will be a little darker. And of course, we are going to change the foliage of the trees in the distance. So first off, I'd like to start by changing the profile to Adobe Landscape, which will give us some more base saturation. Then for the basic stuff, I am not going to change the white balance since I think it looks pretty good as it is right now. Instead, I want to head straight for the exposure and bring it down a notch, just a little bit. Now looking at this gram, you can see there is no overexposure and no underexposure, so that's pretty perfect. However, I still want to adjust the exposure, making the shadows a little darker by bringing them down a bit. And thus we are just adding some contrast. I also want to introduce some more whites. Alright, this will brighten up the image again, but in a way so we have more contrast again. And finally, I do want to slightly drop the blacks for even more contrast. Now, when bringing down the blacks, you might see some underexposure kicking in, but in very, very tiny areas for this image where it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Still, I think this program looks fine, so let's continue. I want this image to have a rather sharp look, so I'm going to push the texture. At the same time, I do want to bring the clarity down. And finally, let's introduce some vibrance for more saturated colors. Alright, so that's the image after the base adjustments. You can see, compared to before, we have a lot more contrast already. The colors are way more vibrant, so that's good. And by the way, I totally forgot to mention this image is already cropped a little bit. Basically, I took a bit off of the top and the foreground while keeping the landscape in the center nicely centered. But with that out of the way, let's apply some masking. First off, I'd like to work on the sky. This part is very, very bright, way too bright for my taste. So I'm going to use the linear gradient and change that. Just creating a smaller one like that. And here I'm going to bring down the exposure slightly. Okay, then I am going to use a color range mask. Where is it? On this one right here. And I'm trying to select the blue color tone of the sky. Of course, we're going to select way too much of the image. That means I'm just going to subtract a linear gradient. And let's get rid of everything except the top part for the sky like this. And what I'm doing here is to again just bring down the exposure and thus we're going to add some very cool contrast between the white clouds and the blue sky. Perfect. Looking much better already. Let's continue by applying a linear gradient for the foreground. I do want to make the reflection a little more powerful and I can do that by first pumping up the clarity I can also make it sharper by increasing the texture. And at this point, we could also make it brighter by just bringing up the whites. It's looking really, really good. All right, awesome. On the right side, we could use some glow. So let's create a radial gradient, make it really, really big. And I'm just placing it outside the image like that. In here, I'm going to bring up the blacks. And I'm also dropping the dehaze just a little bit, which will add some nice artificial fog on this area. At the same time, I do want to raise the temperature, warming up this spot and just make it look like there's some sunlight coming in from the right side. Perfect. And that is the image after the masking. Again, compared to before, even more contrast than after the base adjustments. And especially the reflection down there looks so much better. Now for those autumn colors. That's actually pretty easy on this shot. 
For that I'm going to start in the color mixer. And here let's switch over to the hue tab. Now we already have some strong autumn colors going on, but I do want to make them even stronger. That is indeed some heavier manipulation, so that's not for everyone. If you want to do the same, just bring down the green hue all the way down. And let's also bring down the yellow hue all the way down. And now we have a nice orange color tone over all the foliage in the center of the image. I think this fits very well with the blue tones of the sky. So let's keep on pushing this. I want to head into the saturation tab and just bring up the orange saturation while slightly dropping the yellow saturation to not overdo things. And I think we can also bring down the green saturation just like that. Okay, looks good so far. Next up, I do want to head into the Lunette step. Here, we can adjust the brightness of the colors. And here it does make sense to push the orange and the yellow luminance, which would just make the foliage a little brighter. So let's bring up the orange tones. And you can see how this nicely works with the light coming in from the right side. Let's do the same on the yellow tones, giving the foliage some really nice highlights. Perfect. Now we could play around with the blue luminance, bringing it down to make the sky a little darker, but I think we don't need to change that, so let's reset it. Now for this shot I'm going to skip over the split toning since I really really like those colors. However, I want to head into the calibration tab down here. And I actually forgot to reset those settings, but you can see I have brought down the blue primary hue quite a bit, as well as pushing the saturation. Now if I deactivate this section real quick, you can see the difference. We just are getting some more intense autumn color tones in the foliage, while the sky has changed a little bit and turned more into a Zion color tone. Again, I think this looks pretty good, but of course that's totally up to your taste. Now after this step, there's one more thing to do in the Camera Raw Editor, and that is of course the Sharpening in the Details step. Again, as always, I'm using the same settings. I'm bringing down the radius. I'm also increasing the details all the way up. Then let's apply some masking. We only need the sharpening on the center part where the trees are. So something like this looks pretty good. Now let's just increase the amount of sharpening. Perfect. So with that out of the way, we can finally finish this image in Photoshop. So let's open it up. So there are a few things I want to clean up. Therefore I'm using the spot healing brush. Zoom in a little bit and let's just clean the surface of the water down here. That's really just distracting stuff. I'm not sure if the spot healing brush can handle this grassy bush down there. I think I'm just going to use the lasso tool and make a very rough selection around it. And then hit Shift F5, choose Content Aware and hit OK. That did work quite well, I guess. Just fixing the leftovers here. There's some repetition going on, which I don't like. So I'm just brushing over at this part with the spot healing brush as well, trying to fix it, which doesn't work. So let's just grab the clone stem tool and let's see what we can clone in here. That should be enough already. Perfect. Now there's one more sensor spot up here. But otherwise it looks fine. So I don't want to change much anymore, but at this point I have the feeling the blue color tones are a little overwhelming. We can change that quite easily. Let's just go into the adjustment layers and apply hue and saturation. In the drop down menu I'm going for the Zion tones and just bring down the saturation a notch. I can also make them a little darker. But I think this is looking very nice this way. Then I do want to add some final layer of contrast. So let's use a levels adjustment layer. Here I do want to slightly raise the point for the blacks, making them a little darker. And I do want to bring down the point for the whites, making them a little brighter. This will result in overexposure, but again, I don't think it matters that much in this case. Let's turn it off real quick to compare to before. Yeah, I think that's much, much better. 
So here we have the finished autumn shot. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you guys very much for watching my video.